your corn crop is alive somewhere between 130, 140 days. It's in the field longer than that, but it's alive for about 130 to 140 days. We think there are critical periods of time for performance in the corn crop's life. Today you're on the ground with Rob Seco, I'm Todd Clawson. We are on the Rob Seco Future Farm that's just west of Elkhorn, Nebraska in high yield blocks. And what we want to show you today is one of those critical periods of time. Today is the last day of August, one of those critical periods of time in the corn crop's life in our perspective is the last 20 days. You've all done that, right? You've all gone out and you've, you've already done it this year. You've gone out and you've done yield estimates. The number of rows around by the number of kernels in length by how many plants per acre or ears per acre are out there. What is the number that you divide by? Because that number that you divide by is how many kernels will make a bushel. So a larger kernel takes fewer kernels to make a bushel. And in your theoretical equation, do you divide by 100,000, 90,000, 80,000? You have to think about that. And the smaller the number that you divide by, means a larger kernel. And that's what we're trying to get to. We're trying to get to a deeper kernel. Where we are today is we are in a high yield block and both treated versus untreated, both treated versus untreated have a three compound or three mode of action fungicide plus an insecticide applied to it at V19 with a ground rig. Okay. This is a 111 day hybrid planted on the 25th of April. So it is just about ready to get to its final destination and as we've been pushing it's always important to keep that plant alive as, as long as possible but particularly think about the August that you've had we've had a period here in this August of 2023 that have been accumulating well over 30 GDUs today Th excuse me well over 30 GDUs per day so it's been a race to maturity Right. Because remember, GDUs are a, an indicator of biological and chemical reactions. So the more GDUs, the more heat, particularly the overnight lows, the higher they are, the faster that rate of reaction and the shorter time period it will take to get to maturity. So what we have the difference between these two is at that V19 application of fungicide insecticide, one side has a nutrient load. So it has a load of, of nitrogen potassium and boron and those are the three things that we were really looking for remember past past pollination today's hybrids need 20 to 25 percent of their total nitrogen need for the year 25 percent after tassel also when we think about potassium potassium is terribly important late in the in the plant's life because it helps regulate regulate drought stress it also then helps create the lignin in the rind that then helps the stock hold the plant up once it goes to maturity. And then you have boron. Boron is extremely important for pollination, pollination survival, and that total pollination success in that period. So, but between the two today, as we're, as we're looking at it, so we have the treatment side here. They are both, they are both 18 around by 39 long by 35,300 plants per acre. Okay, repeat that, 18 around, 39 in length, and 35,300 ears per acre. Okay. So the kernel set's already there. The kernel set has been there since the end of pollination. Rows of round have been set way back here at V5, V7. Those potential kernels or embryos in length happen between V14 and VT. And then now your, your, your third factor is how long are you going to keep it alive? So what we have in the treated, we have sitting right about R5.6, R5.75. So it's just past half a milk line. Half a milk line is in general at this time of year, 10 to 11 days till you reach full maturity. So we're looking at this and it still has probably five or six more days to get to maturity. The untreated, that that only has the triple mode of action fungicide and insecticide plus, in, plus, uh, plus the insecticide is already hitting black layer. So as I look at the two of them, treated, untreated, you see one still has five or six more days. What will happen in that five or six more days? The depth of kernel will get greater and greater. Its empirical weight will get greater and greater. And you will have fewer kernels that will have to make up a bushel. Okay, think about that. Do that math again. If it's 18 by 39 by 35,300 and you divide by 90,000 kernels make a bushel, 
do that same equation, but divide by 85,000 kernels that make a bushel. That's 16 bushel an acre. And our cost for that additional nitrogen, potassium, and boron was $9.88. Keeping it alive is terribly important. Deeper kernel, greater kernel weight, more yield. You've been on the ground today with Rob Seco. I'm Todd Clausen.